former Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Kuremadu, will be spending the Christmas and New Year celebration in detention as the Central Criminal Court London has again denied him bail. In the pre-trial hearing Tuesday, the court gave his verdict on the grounds that he was a flight risk. In the bail application, Senator Ikori Madu's lawyer had argued that the Nigerian High Commissioner for the United Kingdom and the Attorney General of the Federation had written to the court that he was not a flight risk. His defense also argued that a guarantee to produce him was given and that the Nigerian High Commission in the UK had equally given the option of tagging Senator Ikuremadu electronically to monitor his movement. However, the prosecution contended that as a holder of international passports from two other countries, the lawmaker could escape to any of these countries aside Nigeria. Refusing the bill application, the judge said he is entirely satisfied there remains a flight risk stressing bail would not make much difference as the trial is just over a month away. And as the 2023 presidential campaign approaches a new crescendo towards the festive season, the Tinubu Shatima campaign has added a new dimension to its grassroots mobilization strategy by launching a mobile application through its independent campaign council. The ICC chat app, So Christian, is designated, designed to reach majority of digital engagement in the 774 local government areas disseminating facts about the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate and his running mate. The ICC, in its press conference held at its, head, held at its headquarters in Abuja, stated that through the unique model of engagement with its committees and support groups, a model now exists that deepens and reasserts hope for greater Nigeria, once Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu emerges president in 2023. The ICC is a multi-dimensional and all-inclusive approach that has close working with various committees for maximum engagement with the Nigerian people towards generating the highest number of votes ever witnessed in the history of Nigeria presidential election. The ICC is built around Tinubu Shetima presidential ticket with a well-structured operation manned by a national coordinator. And still talking politics, spokesman of the People's Democratic Party Campaign Management Committee in Delta State, Latimo Ogenesive, has again assured Nigerians that the party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and his running mate, Ifa Yokoa, will put an end to the nation's mono-economy which he claimed has practically slowed down economic growth since 1960. Mr. Ogan who spoke in Asaba, said the present situation wherein states rely solely on monthly oil revenue from the federal government has crippled production of Nigerian-made products and the extractive industry. He noted that the self-reliance by regions and states under the restructuring federal system, as assured by the PDP presidential and vice presidential candidates, will create healthy competition among regions, facilitate economic recovery, wealth creation, and sustainable growth. Mr. Oganesive, who is also the executive assistant on communications to PDP vice presidential candidate Senator Kowa, called on Nigerians, especially eligible voters, to cast their votes for the PDP so as to rescue Nigeria from bad governance. A lesson attention to the nation's capital, where the House of Representatives has received a letter from President Muhammad Buhari requesting the passage of 819.5 billion naira supplementary budget. According to the letter read by the Speaker, Femi Bajabi Amila, the supplementary budget is to address food security following devastating floods across the country and damages to road infrastructure and water sectors. The president also noted it is premised on the need to complete ongoing critical federal government projects such as dams and irrigation projects. The budget is expected to be funded by domestic borrowings. And now to the state appropriation bills. A Doe State Governor, Godwin Obasaki, has signed the 2023 appropriation bill pegged at 321 billion naira into law after the bill was passed by the State House of Assembly. Christine's budget of resilience and transformation, it is an increase of about 1 billion naira over the 320 billion naira initially presented to the State Assembly. The governor commended the leadership of the State Assembly for giving speedy consideration to the bill. As we reviewed the year 2022, 
we found out that we broke every record in the year 2022. <clears throat> First, in terms of budget performance, we hit more than 90%, which is considered excellent in the paradigm of, of budget, which means that our estimated revenues of 220 billion, we got almost more than 90% of those revenues in to finance the budget of 2022. But it, and also if you look at the breakdown for the budget of 2022, we insisted and emphasized a lot more capital expenditure than recurrent. And to Imo State, where Governor Hope Uzodima has presented 474 billion naira as proposed budget for the 2023 fiscal year. Christine, budget of wealth expansion, it has a proposed capital expenditure of 373 billion naira and 100 billion naira for the current expenditure. Correspondent Prince Uba reports. It was the annual ritual of government as Governor Uzodima led his cabinet members to the State House of Assembly. The occasion is to lay before the House the 2023 appropriation bill to give a policy direction to the state for socio-economic advancement in the coming fiscal year. Governor Zodima proposed a total budget of 474 billion naira for the 2023 fiscal year, which he believes when passed into law will positively impact on all strata of the economy. After a careful assessment of the present economic situation of the country and the prevailing and of aid indices, it is my pleasure to present to you a total proposed 2023 budget estimate of 457 billion, 466 million, 266,267 naira. The budget is appropriately Christian project of he says part of his policy direction for the new year is to give special attention in building night landing facility at San Mbakwe Airport and dredging of Orashi River for easy access to the sea. After the second war, it has been the global impression that he must take his land out. But recently, working with the Nigerian men, we discovered that if Orashi River is dredged, that from Orashi River to the sea is less than 100 kilometers. It is obvious that the 2022 appropriation bill was judiciously dispersed with so many life changing projects embarked upon by the executive. We, members of the people of our family, shall not fail in our duties to painstakingly look at the nitty gritty of this 2023 budget estimate and pass them on record time. The capital expenditure for the 2023 appropriation bill is 23 percent higher than the 2022 capital expenditure, while the recurrent expenditure for 2023 increased by 4 percent compared with 2022 budget. Prince Oba, TVC News, Uwere.